This is something that we uh, we've been covering. Some the House votes to renew the surveillance law. All right, and of course a goddamn advertisement popped up because this is from the New York Times. House votes to renew surveillance law, rejecting new privacy limits. The House of Representatives voted on Thursday to extend the National Security Agency's warrantless surveillance program for six years with minimal changes, rejecting a years-long effort by a bipartisan group of lawmakers to impose significant new privacy limits when it sweeps up Americans' emails and other personal communications. So that loophole we were talking about earlier this week, where basically as long as they say it's an issue of national security, where, it, where it's a threat of national security, or if it doesn't directly involve Americans completely, uh, they can just look at whatever they want. And they, that Intercept article we covered earlier this week, let's keep in mind the analogy they made. The FBI looks at information from other people that they have no business looking at. They look at that the way you or I uses Google. So think about the way you use a search engine just throughout your day, whenever you need to Google whatever, that's what they do uh, when it comes to information. So the legislation approved on Thursday still has to go through the Senate. Uh, but, I mean, the Senate has a majority Republican base, too. I mean, this is probably going to be fine. Uh, not fine. I mean, it's not the legislation is not fine, but but it, it will not have a problem passing. That's what I meant. Uh, Congress did in 2015 vote to end and replace another program that Mr. Snowden exposed under which the NSA had been secretly collecting logs of Americans' domestic phone calls in bulk, but reform-minded lawmakers who hoped to add significant new privacy constraints to the warrantless surveillance program fell short on Thursday. The vote was a victory for the Trump administration and the intelligence community, which opposed imposing major new curbs on the program, and for Republican leadership, including House Speaker Paul Ryan. That treasure, that gem... Good old Polly Ryan threatens us with retirement all the time, uh, who had blocked the House from an opportunity to consider a less sweeping compromise package. They gambled that faced with an all or essentially nothing choice. A majority of lawmakers would choose the status quo, and they won. Before approving the extension of the law, known as 70, Section 702 of the FISA Amendments Act, the House voted 233 to 183, to reject an amendment that proposed a series of overhaul. Earlier on Thursday, President Trump contradicted his own White House and top national security officials in a Twitter post that criticized an important surveillance law just as Congress began debating whether to approve it. And how much How much Democratic, I think you said how many Dem Democrat, 55 House votes. So according to uh, Whiskers Crawley here is pointing out that 55 House Democrats voted to expand this. So this means, that, as Cody's pointing out here in the chat as well, Democrats voted for this as well. Latin Barbie, thank you so much for the star points. I appreciate that. So guys, this is your resistance. This is your resistance. They just approved continuing over extensive anti-privacy laws to let the uh, intelligence communities in the administration of a president who brags about watching girls get changed in a locker room. They just voted to let that guy uh, in his administration continue to look at your information for no reason, essentially. Democrats went along with that. This is your resistance. This is the resistance. They give Trump his approval on this. Uh, on warrantless surveillance powers. They give him approval on that. They give him more of a military budget than the administration even asked for. This is your resistance. This is your resistance, folks. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer-curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, 
free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.